Ah, Mistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. All things get better with age, don't they? Even you. The Oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent body. I'm glad to hear it. Korygos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpino? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. I would appreciate you showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... It... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. 
don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? Malaka! <laughs> if it isn't the Eagle Barak himself! You got big since Kefalonia! And you got old, Fotios, the dog's breath. Last I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard! These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. <laughs> Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> <laughs> of course they do! Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. The cushy job. Most days. I could use a break myself. <sighs> Some break this is. Today feels just like old times. The job got harder than anticipated. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> 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 
Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zephyrs, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right, I'll help you, but... But what? You know my help doesn't come cheap, Fotios. <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and drachmi hungry, but reliable. So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Come to think of it, I found a dead priest. He had a letter on him. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Hermes. That's them all right. <laughs> Any clues? It said something about going to Despina Fort to sell the root. I'll head that way.